welcome back. This is Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts. Today we are going to do some art bat drum carding, one of my favorite things. Uh, so I have, uh, well, I'm trying to get rid of some of my um, solid uh, dyed stash because I want to get some new stuff when I am at Maryland Sheep and Wool next weekend. I uh, am uh, going to uh, make this, uh, hopefully it's going to look like under the sea, some dark water, but then some turquoise in there. I'm going to use mostly merino, but this is a whole jumble of awesomeness. Uh, this is some uh, custom uh, blended dorset horn and mulberry silk top. Uh, this is all merino, merino, merino. Uh, this this is my little tester of um, yak and poleworth that I did uh, on my uh, over dyeing video. Um, this is some more of the dorset horn silk. Merino, merino, this is all merino. Oh, this is cormo and cotton, cormo and cotton. Uh, this is a bamboo rayon. I've got some fire star. It's rainbow fire star, but I picked out just the green and the gold and a little bit of blue with it. I tried to steer clear of the red um, just because I didn't want that. Uh, oh, we have silk noils. We have the bamboo. Oh, and some of these locks that I uh, dyed, um, and we're going to try to put some of those on. Not too many, but um, we're going to put those on the very top. I have my uh, drum carter set up uh, for uh, making art bats. Uh, I have the uh, Ashford uh, drum carter that's the, the standard size, not the mini. Uh, there are two, um, I'm going to call them whorls. I don't know what you call them. This is the six to one ratio, and this is the four to one ratio. The six to one is what you're using when you are um, uh, carding uh, fiber that you've just scoured and uh, are trying to make it into a nice uh, airy bat. Uh, this is for uh, making art bats out of things that have already uh, been prepped. Uh, this is all, uh, most of this is all comb top. This is a woolen prep. It's already uh, been um, carded. Uh, and so this all will be great on the uh, four to one ratio. And here's Erlene. Hi, Erlene. Let's get started. Let's see what we have here. I love this dark green. This Cormo and Cotton is one of my favorites. It's already um, a woolen prep, and it's the only one uh, that I'm using the Cormos, the Cormo and Cotton. Uh, and it is. Um, really already airy and floofy so it looks like i'm putting a whole bunch on here but really it's not very much a lot of this blue if you hear any construction noise in the background we had a storm here a few weeks ago and our storm door blew off of our house uh and uh <laughs> my husband's out there trying to put a new storm door on because uh, we sort of had it propped up and it we had high winds yesterday and it blew off again so today we get a new door all right, let's see what we got here. I think I'm just laying this stuff on here. Um, I want to use some of this darker blue. And let's see, I like this too. Let's throw this in. We can spread this out a little bit too. Nice. I am liking that. So what I am imagining here is um, like deep dark ocean. And then I'm gonna put some pops of the uh, uh, turquoise in there. And the silk noils I'm imagining is gonna be like, like a, uh, the waves, uh, the um, you know, like that foam that you get at the edge when it does uh, crash into the shore. That's what I'm thinking it's going to look like. We'll see. I had a dream about this last night. I know. I, I've been dreaming about fiber a lot lately. I think it's because I want to get a new drum carter. <laughs> and it's been on my mind. It's heavily been on my mind. I want to uh, make a massive drum carter upgrade. Uh, we shall see if it happens. going to uh, burnish this down a bit here. That should make it easier to get off when the time comes around. 
And I'm just trying to fill in some spots here. I'm not trying to do any uh, particular, I'm gonna take this off as an art bat. I'm not going to diz it off, even though I think you guys all know that I love to do that. Um, but my plan for this is to just sort of blend it like, like water, you know, sluicing about in the deep. Uh, let's add some of this lighter blue here. This is gonna look cool. Some of my polar and yak. Let's get that floofed on. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. And we do have some white in here. Maybe put a little of this. Little white caps. Oh yeah, we want some of this. I forgot about this. Let's use this. I'm gonna put some pops of this in here. That might be a little long. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. A little bit stuck on my lip ring. Let's get that off of there. Oh, I hear some construction work. Sorry about that. Got out of have a door though. <laughs> Let's use some of this. dark green and dark blue combo here that I have. It's this dark green. And this dark, no, not this one, this one. This is so dark that it's almost black. Like the midnight blue, I love it. Let's put this out a little bit more. There we go. And I'll go ahead and burnish this. And uh, boy, I just love the way that looks. You almost don't want to put the turquoise in it. I'm going to keep adding uh, on in this fashion, which is sort of a willy-nilly fashion. Uh, and then um, I will uh, turn the camera back on when we are ready to um, put on uh, some of the uh, textured items here, the uh, uh, bamboo and the locks and all that. Okay, here we are doing the uh, first layer. Uh, I started painting on some of the bamboo and then I remembered to turn the camera back on. Um, actually, it was a little too symmetrical for my taste, so I'm actually gonna just put a little more on here and make it look less symmetric because I don't want it to look like stripes, I want it to look random. All right, and The next thing that I'm going to do is put on some of this fire star. And like I said, I tried to pick out the red. Oh, there's a little bit of red here. Let me get that out. Okay. Let's try this and see. So this is the gold and um, the green. Burnish this a little bit. There we go, get it to spread a little bit more. And then here are the noils. And now the noils are what I'm hoping is gonna give the uh, um, sea foamy look to it here. And when you spin this up, it's gonna give you really nice little uh, tweedy silk neps. It'll be super soft and wonderful. And um, what I was going to show you was there's a couple different ways you can put this on here. 
uh, one, and this is the way I usually do it, is I just paint it on. And then I'll show you on the finish layer what else you can do. And again, just compressing that down. I got one little nip there on my liquor in. Now, the other thing that I have are some of these locks that I dyed, but I'm gonna save these for the end and I'm gonna put them on the outside. And there it is in all of its ocean spray, sea foam, deep ocean glory here. All right, now I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna do uh, the smooth layers again and then I'll uh, add more of the texture on the uh, top layer. All right, I have uh, pretty much everything on here. Um, I didn't use all of the white. I decided that I just didn't want to, I really liked the, the way the uh, dark green and the midnight blue uh, and the Cormo cotton was really interacting with each other. And there's a bunch of the turquoise down in here. Um, I didn't use all of the turquoise either. Uh, I'm going to though paint uh, the bamboo, uh, which is also a turquoise color on here. And I think that's really gonna look nice. We shall see what we get. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is good. I think that is going to be lovely. Oh, I just love that darkness in there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is lay down some of this Firestar. I'm going to just try to put all the smooth things on, and then the uh, things that are less smooth I'll leave for the very final layer. Because trying to put this on over top of the nets, I don't think it would stick down in here as much as I would like it to. And we have the gold in here with the darkness. And with the pops of the turquoise. Woo, this is pretty. Right. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I love the way that gold is playing with the turquoise and the, the uh, midnight blue. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. All right, now let's see, what should we do next? Should we do the nets or the locks? So uh, let's do the nets. And oh, I said I was gonna show you a different way to do it too. Um, this is a stencil brush that I just got at Michael's. Uh, so if you're doing uh, some of this painting on, like this with the nefs, you can um, hit this with the uh, stencil brush and kind of decide where you want everything to go without the wheel spinning so much. And it'll just sort of pack it down in there for you. And then the other way, of course, is to just do this. I think this way is faster and that's what I usually do. But sometimes like uh, the, the silk nips, they stick really well. Um, the viscous nips stick really well, but like cotton nips don't. Um, some of the other uh, types of nips, they, they may not stick and they like fall off and they get all over your liquor in. So if that's the case, then this is the way to go with the uh, stencil brush. Sorry, the construction is almost over, I think. <laughs> Every time I think it's gonna be quiet and I go to turn this on, there's more banging. And I'm just going to uh, burnish this down. And now the last thing I have are these locks. Now the locks definitely don't put through the liquor in because these are really long. They're just gonna tangle up on there. Um, even with my best efforts, they still might get a little tangled here. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so here are my locks. And this is actually um, a bunch of different um, types of locks. There's some Lincoln uh, long wool locks in here. There's some mohair, uh, some of them are mohair but uh, I'm just gonna let them kind of curl on there and just wind it around. <laughs> and there's a little bit of uh, vegetable matter in these. 
just because they were coiled so tightly. But when they uncoil, they'll uh, the bed the end will fall out. Vegetable matter, and this is a good time to use the uh, stencil brush here just to get this in. Look at that texture. Doesn't that look so cool? Um, I may have to actually um, take the camera and bring it around and show you because it keeps the, the bit of coil in them. And now if I can get this to go right. Now let's see if I can get this one a little less. There we go. And let's do a couple more here. Looks kind of like seaweed. I just love it. This is gonna be great to weave something with. And again, I'm just using the uh, stencil brush here to push this in. And uh, you wanna go uh, this way, this way, uh, towards you, not away from you. If you try to go the other way, it's gonna mess, it'll just pull everything off your drum carter. So every, you should be, when you're trying to pack things down, going towards your uh, liquor in. I'm liking the idea of the seaweed concept. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. I have one left. Let's use it. Stay down there. There we go. Okay. smooth everything down, knowing that that lock is gonna pop up still, but that'll be nice. And it'll be a really cool texture when you come to it in the spin. But look at that, you can still see some of the squiggle. Love it. All right, do we want a little more sparkle in this? I think you can't go wrong with a little bit more, not too much. Nice here. And a little bit more I have. Might as well use my last little bit of noil that I have designated for this project. Wow, that looks cool. Okay. I think we are ready. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I just love it. I think I'm gonna make another one of these just for me. Let's take this off and see how pretty it looks. Just take your packer brush back here, and then you're gonna rotate your handle till that doffer strip appears right here, using your doffer. And you just take off a little bit at a time, uh, making sure that you get the whole way through the fibers that are on here. And I'm gonna do this the whole way across. And remember, there's a layer of all this good stuff on the inside too, so it's not just on the outside. You'll be able to, um, you'll have a nice distribution of little tweedy bits and the bamboo and the um, silk noils uh, and the uh, uh, locks. And the fire star. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> this is, I should call this the everything but the kitchen sink bat. Make sure you have every fiber. I just wanted to see what it looks like on the underneath side here. We'll see it better when it's off the carter, but I think that's a cool view and you can see, you know, all the way that the dark and the light and that little splash of white in there goes together. I really like that. It looks cool. All right, we're gonna take this off. Uh, so what I do is put my hand here at the base of the pins uh, and then I take this hand and I am uh, pulling it along here like a pancake. And as I get further along, I'm just kind of pulling up and kind of folding this off the pins. Just making sure I get this little bits here. And if there's anything stuck in there and I want to get all of it, I just take my little hairbrush uh, cleaner there and just comb it up. And 
and see. Oh, look how pretty that looks. This is the, the uh, quote unquote plain side. But heck, I'd be happy just to spin that. Look at that. All right. And here is our bat. This is the side that was down. Oh, this is so fluffy. Oh my gosh. And look at this. Oh, it's so cool. And here you can see the locks um, that are just kind of like squiggled on there, like seaweed. And those will give some more texture when you spin. And of course the noils, um, you can see the um, uh, sparkle. At least I hope you can. Can you see the sparkle on that? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fold this up. And uh, we will uh, take a look at the uh, final weight here. I, uh, I didn't use as much of the um, fiber as I thought I might. So we'll see how it turned out here, weight-wise. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is super cool. I love the seaweed effect. Are we on frame here? Look at that. Love it. And then uh, typically what I'll do is I'll, I'll roll it this way and then um, I'll uh, go ahead and roll it one more time. And that usually gives you a nice looking uh, bat and you can kind of see what it's all about. <laughs> Let's get a weight on this. All right, so that is 3.2 ounces and uh, Wow, I love it. I can't wait to spin this up. Oh, just look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that may be one of the favorite ones I've done. All right, well, hopefully uh, you, uh, oh, you know what I should do? Um, I know a lot of people are probably wondering how does silk noils spin up and what do they look like? Because although it looks really cool, you're thinking, oh, is it going to give me some weird looking yarn? But I actually have spun uh, a bunch of art bats with silk noils. I'm going to go show you some of my yarn. Uh, so these silk noils, I used uh, the exact same uh, type of silk noils. Uh, this one I just spun up like a couple weeks ago. Uh, and this, you can see, all this was uh, chain plied and I spun this from Rolex. And all of these white bits are the uh, noils, uh, the silk noils. And they give you just that little bit of uh, tweedy effect. Uh, this one did not have any of the sparkles in it. This one, again, this is what those silk noils look like. This one's heavier on the silk noils. Uh, this is probably going to look like this more so, or a little bit like this, but uh, these are uh, also with silk noils. And again, no sparkles in that one. I'm not a super huge sparkly person. Uh, this, uh, somebody had said they wanted to see butterfly garden ply together. And um, it, it, I didn't do it yet, I'm getting to it. Uh, but uh, this is uh, what it will look like. Um, this is what the soft silk and the recycled sari look like. And this was green, just all green different shades of green. And then I uh, made this on the drum quarter with uh, different uh, uh, bits of uh, soft silk. And that's what that looks like. Uh, and it looks really cool. Uh, and then I also have something else that I love to use called ColourPop. I haven't used it in a little while, so I think I'll do a video uh, about it. So that's um, all I have for right now. Uh, so you have um, this awesome looking deep ocean, I don't know what to call it. It reminds me of like the the, de the deep ocean water. Um, and uh, I will uh, see you all next time. Until then, spin happy and don't be afraid of texture. <laughs> Bye.